Hi guys, welcome back to Charmin's Kitchen. I wanna say a very good night to each and every one of you. I'm gonna be making some egg curry backyard style and I wanna show you all the ingredients I have out here. It was a beautiful day today. Hope everybody had a wonderful day. If you are new to my channel, I wanna welcome you to my channel. And if you're interested in making some egg curry, come on down and let's get cooking. So here in the pan, I have some oil warming up. I have the eggs here boiled and peeled. So I'm gonna be fry, tossing them in hot oil to give it a very nice um, brown layer on the outside. I have my um, curry paste here all prepared. I'm gonna use edos in this curry. You can also use potatoes. I have some green onions, onion, regular onions and some maruri pepper to add to this. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start adding the eggs to the oil. And this is gonna give a nice brown crust. And when you add it to the curry, it's gonna um, suck up all the nice curry flavor into it. And it makes the egg curry taste very, very tasty. So what we're doing is just tossing them. And if you see, you can see that it's nice and brown. That's what you're looking for. You just move them around until all the white start to get that nice brown um, color. And that, then, when I have a nice brown color all over, I will be taking them out and then chunking the curry. So what I'm gonna do, I'll start taking out the ones that are done. Um, before they get burned and then I will set them aside to add them to the curry. So now I'm going to be adding the curry paste to the oil. I'm gonna add some water to this and let it cook up for a few minutes so we can get all those spices to open up and infuse together before we add anything else to the dish. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this and I'm gonna turn it up a little. The spices are cooking up nicely. At this point, I like to add my onions. So I'm going to go in with the onions and then we will let it cook for about a minute or so more and then we will come back and add the other ingredients. I can hear plain passing over her head. Isn't it nice to cook in the outdoors? So let's check on this and it is cooking up nicely. In my curry paste I have some roasted jeera i have some lala's curry powder turmeric powder and i have some green seasoning in my curry paste so the next thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna add oh some salt and i have a recipe for egg curry step by step but today i'm in the mood for some egg curry and i want feel like doing it backyard style and I want to share this with you guys. So that's why I am cooking this again. I'm going to add my edos. And for all my vegetarian friends, you can make this with the edo and leave the egg out. Or you can use potatoes instead of edos. It's your choice. So this is looking good. I'm going to let it sit inside the curry paste for a little before I add some water to this. Wow, this is looking amazing. Time for us to add the water add it, and I am adding some warm water. So we'll continue the cooking process. Enough to cook the edos because we want this to be nice and soft. And then the next step, as soon as it so starts to boil up, I'm gonna add the eggs and the mariwari pepper so i'm gonna cover this and come back to it in a few minutes 
so guys i'm actually enjoying the outdoors i'm actually enjoying the beautiful weather and um we can't go anywhere to hang out or gather so i'm spending a lot of time in my backyard which i'm enjoying so very much to all my friends who are in lockdown in trinidad in canada all over the world wherever you are and you're under lockdown find something to do that you like and you enjoy so it will take your mind off um, anything that will stress you out so that's what i do i like to come onto youtube and to have a little conversation and share little recipes and stuff with all you guys my youtube family and i do a lot of that in the winter that keep me very connected to people even though i'm not gathering but virtually and in the summertime i do a lot of backyard gardening um planting a nice vegetable garden and sharing that with you guys too so on your days when you want something to look at you can come onto my channel and um you know look at the things that i have to share with my virtual family so i'm so happy that i can still do this even though we're in the lockdown and still stay connected with you guys so i want to say that i really do appreciate all your love and your support to my channel because just as well as you guys enjoy it i am enjoying my youtube family as well so i will take you back now to the cooking so let's check how this is doing and it is cooking up nicely i will add the eggs into the pot now so you know what let's do this and the juice from the gravy is gonna go under those brown skin and it will make this egg curry even more delicious so the edos are still cooking they're not done boiling yet and I'm gonna be adding my green onions and the the pepper. So we're gonna cover this again and leave it to cook maybe for another five minutes and we will come back and check it out very soon. How this is looking? It's looking amazing, right? So I still have to let the edos cook. They're still not done yet. But as soon as they get soft, this will be ready. It can be eaten with roti or rice. Today I didn't have time to make any roti. So we're gonna have it with some rice today. So the edo and egg curry is done. It is dark outside. The moon is out. We're cooking in the moonlight. Look at that. The moon is watching down on us. This don't happen often, but I just love it. So I'm gonna turn this off now and I will take it inside and plate some up and let you guys know how this tastes. But I can sit down outside and have my dinner even though it's dark. So guys, here is the beautiful edo and egg curry. I'm gonna garnish with some cilantro. This gives a nice finish and I'm gonna plate up and let you guys know how this tastes. I'll be going in my backyard to finish this dinner because it's so beautiful outside. What do you guys think? Looks yummy, right? So here is my beautiful plate of egg and edo curry with rice and some cilantro garnish all around. I have a maruri pepper here. And guys, this dish can go with rice. It can go with roti, any roti of your choice. But I didn't have, look how the edo is just soft and it's melting away. I didn't had um, time to make roti. The quickest thing for me was to put cook some rice and I don't mind it at all, so. For all my vegetarian friends who are watching, you can make this curry and leave the egg out. 
and for all those who can have egg this is a very delicious hearty meal sometimes we do enjoy it once in a while so to all my viewers and all my subscribers this is your mouthful oh my god and with that edo it, it tastes even better for all my friends who love edo and look matthew um look here my son is my camera person tonight look at the egg inside here under these um brown layer the it's very juicy with the curry flavor so i'm gonna take a bite with the eggs for you guys so cheers to all my viewers and subscribers mm. so delicious so hearty it's warm right now so it's very very tasty and what i want to say to you guys if you didn't have this dish before please give it a try it's really really um a delicious hearty meal i want to say i hope you guys had a wonderful day if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you would like to see step by step i do have another video for step by step i will leave the link in the description below if you haven't subscribed yet please what are you waiting for just press that subscribe button um you only have to subscribe to one video and i want to say to you guys stay blessed stay safe bye for now